seven days a week. What's up everybody, it is Royal J and I am back again with another video and this time we are building. Matter of fact, first before I get into that, Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, shout out to everybody. I hope you got everything that you wanted for Christmas. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't, it's okay. You got life. Just be preached. Um, we're all going through a lot. Can't really be around family. So what we have here is a Hershey gingerbread house that we're going to be building and so we're about to open it up and I think this would be cool. Cool, cool, cool. So it comes with everything. It has the Hershey chocolate bar, the pieces for the, the gingerbread house, um, the kisses, like the little pieces. It has like these little things for the trees and berries or something like that. That's what it say, uh, says here. It has the cream, the icing to kind of help it stick together. It's like three o'clock in the morning. Um, I know I'm not gonna have time to do this video like during the day. So I was like, let me just go ahead and do this right now. And Lisa will be up and ready and my family could see it, you know, when they see it. So we have the icing here. This is what's gonna help everything stick together. Um, we have a little Hershey chocolate bar here. Then we have three little kisses on there. And I believe this, yeah, this is candy. So we have that. And then we have the main foundation, <laughs> the house. So they had different kinds. I'm going to be talking, while I'm doing this, I'm also going to be talking to you guys, like engaging with you guys and letting you know how I started collecting vinyl records, why I started collecting vinyl records, and I started collecting vinyl records in April, I'm going to say April. I used to buy physical discs, like the CDs and everything. I never was a big vinyl co collector. I never really was fascinated with it or anything. I never really knew much about it. I always would see it in people, you know, home and everything. They would have, like, records and stuff. And I was like, oh, okay. A guy that I follow on Twitter, he's super cool and very creative and dope. So he does, like, these vinyl mock-ups. And he uploaded a picture of one of my favorite albums, which is from Blue Contrail, so Blue. Um, shout out to, his name is Creative on Twitter. But, and I was like, okay, you make me want to start collecting vinyl records. My very first vinyl record was... Destiny's Child, um, the writings on the wall. I got it from Urban Outfitters. They had like the sale and everything going on. And I played that album, cause it was the only one that I had for like a good little while. So I played that one for like a very, like, for a while. And the very first record player that I brought was a, um, what was it? It was a Victro Vic Victrola, I think that's how you pronounce it. I brought that, I had a terrible experience with that because the record wasn't really playing, it kept like skipping it. I'm gonna send it back. And so happened, it was because it was a used one, it wasn't a new one. So I was like, why would they send me a used one and I asked for a new one. So I sent it back, got my money back, and then I ended up buying my record player from Best Buy, which is the one I have now, the Audio Technica. BT60, got my record player. I just kept, y'all, I ran my credit card up. I'm still paying it off now. <laughs> I was buying vinyl records like crazy. So if you are a beginner, please be careful because it is tempting, you know, sometimes you can just be chilling and they have a sale or a celebrity maybe coming out with an album or they just randomly repress their stuff and you're just eager to buy it because you like, if I wait, it may not be available anymore. So just be careful, you know, try to limit and discipline yourself because you can, you might go broke. Yep. I do every single vinyl record that I have, I recorded a video of me opening it, you know, talking about it, showing. <laughs> Thank you. 
pretty interesting how I just got into it. You know what I'm saying? It was just that simple, like literally. Um, on Twitter, saw someone upload a picture of their vinyl and fell in love. And I was just like, hey, this is something that I would like to start collecting. You know, if you're a vinyl collector and you want to record yourself opening vinyl records or you go into the store buying them, whatever. Or you just want to do a channel based off of vinyl, talking about vinyl, showing your collection, do it. I'm telling you, do it. Don't have that mindset of, oh, nobody's going to watch it. Oh, nobody's going to care. Oh, whatever. Do not have that mindset. I'm telling you, don't. But don't ever feel like nobody's going to watch your content. You got to be patient. A lot of people come to me and they ask me for advice on doing YouTube and I tell them like, hey, do it. You know, it's fun, it's really cool, it's, you know, you'll be surprised at how good you'll do. And they end up getting on there, uploading two or three videos and because it only get one or two views, they get impatient and then they quit and give up. Like, don't have that mindset. I still have videos that I uploaded from two years ago that are still getting commented on and still getting viewed as if I just uploaded yesterday. So that's why I always tell people, you gotta be patient. It's not something that's overnight. You know? journey with other people and don't look at other people's success as your blueprint or as your go-to guide because everybody has their own journey and you never know what that person went through to get to where they're at.
horrible. It looked like it's about to fall apart in a minute. But I did the best I could. I hope you guys <laughs> like this video. Comment and subscribe and all of that good stuff. So let's go right ahead and get into this reveal. Okay. <laughs> so I did the best that I could, you know what I'm saying? This is my very first time. You know, it came out the way it came out. So we got that going on right there. And then we got the front door, we got the window, we got the decorations, all that good stuff. And then you look at the other side. I didn't really worry about the back part, you know, as long as the front good, you know. So yeah. So this is how it came out. I guess this is how it was supposed to look. <laughs> like, very different, totally different. But you know what? It looked good. I will see you guys in the next one. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was all over the place. It was a process doing this. Literally. So, I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys enjoy Vlogmas. I really had fun. I'm still going to upload as often as I did, probably not every single day, but I'm, I am going to upload very often, so yeah, I will see you guys in the next one, peace.